Today in the office, in this very normal size Chromebook box, we have a much smaller than normal Chromebook in the Asus Chromebook Flip CM3. Now, if you're not really sure exactly what that is, it's kind of like the partner device to the detachable CM3 that we've written a lot about and talked a lot about and a lot of people are excited about. We're still waiting for our review unit to show up, but we do have this, the Flip CM3, which is the non-detachable version of that. And it's a spiritual successor to one of my favorite Chromebooks of all time, the Asus Chromebook Flip C100 and C101. So let's jump in the box. Today's video is brought to you by Visor for Chromebooks. If you're a school or school district with a Chromebook one-to-one -one program, we really think you should check out what it is that Visor has to offer. Visor is a Chromebook management solution that seamlessly integrates with the Google Admin Console and your student information system so that you can easily check in and check out Chromebooks, see which student has which Chromebook, manage repairs, and even automate disabling lost or stolen devices while notifying parents all in one click. Visor really takes Chromebook fleet management to the next level. If you're interested in learning more about how Visor for Chromebooks can help your school or your school district, just click the link in the description below to schedule a short demo. All right, so let's just hop in the box and see what we got here. Again, this is a normal sized Chromebook box. Uh, so we actually thought at first when they sent it over that maybe they sent the wrong thing or something, but uh, we cracked it open to make sure. And it is definitely the flip. Uh, as you can tell, it's very tiny, uh, but we'll get to it in just a second. Uh, they also sent over, I don't think this comes included with the device, but they went ahead and sent over, uh, Asus did, the uh, USI stylus that they make. It's not different than any other USI stylus, it's just Asus's take on a USI pin. Um, and then they have a, you know, just standard wall charger here. Um, I like these from Asus. These are small and tiny. They feel more like a phone charger, and that's really all this device is going to need, but you can top off your phone or any other USB Type-C device that you may have floating around. Other than that, this is a really strange box. It's like multiple levels like not so great in the conservation department here i don't know what's going on with all this it's like they made a big box and they had a box or something and decided to just like start using it for this instead it's very strange uh but who cares about the box right uh let's take a look at this pen real quick first and see what it looks like here and again this is a review device so this thing has been opened and, and probably used before um but yeah this is we've seen this uh before it says Asus Collection right there. It's probably not gonna catch on the camera, but um, it's a nice looking pen. It's all aluminum. Um, it's kind of light, uh, but ultimately it feels nice. And I don't think that there's anything uh, specific on this device where it's gonna like to attach to it or anything like that. Uh, but this will work on any USI equipped Chromebook. It doesn't have to be an Asus Chromebook, uh, but it's the one that they offer. So let's check this guy out. And as I said in the intro, this is kind of the spiritual successor to the Flip C100 and C101. And those devices came around before like convertible Chromebooks and touchscreens and tablet modes and all that stuff were even a thing uh, with, with Chrome OS. And so I've got a, a soft spot for these smaller devices from Asus because I remember that device coming out and I remember seeing a commercial with a guy like on a couch or something holding the Flip and it being in like tablet mode and freaking out over the fact that there was gonna be like a, a Chromebook tablet kind of thing. And so. Uh, like I said, this is uh, basically a, a successor to that device. Uh, so a lot of the same things apply here. Not a whole lot of ports, uh, but a nice aluminum build. Um, feels like plastic along the bottom here, but definitely an aluminum lid, uh, nice shiny hinges, and just an overall kind of pleasing aesthetic all around. A little more boxy than the uh, Flip 100 and 101 were, uh, but that's to be expected. This fits more along the lines of the CX-5. Uh, the CM5, Asus is newer kind of aesthetic, uh, but we have volume rocker power over here on one side and then along the other side, um, just a couple ports here. And this is a bit reminiscent of, again, the, the Flip 100, uh, just really minimal on the port selection, but you do have headphone microphone, a USB 2.0, I think here, a USB type C for your charging and your display out stuff. This is a MediaTek chip here, uh, MediaTek MT8173, uh, or 8183, I'm sorry. So the same thing that's in the Lenovo Duet, the CM3 detachable, all the MediaTek devices that are coming out right now. It's the same processor, uh, micro SD card slot there for expansion. This one comes with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. You have a 10.5 inch three by two display. 
and forgive me for forgetting the resolution. I think it's 1366 by, I'm not going to even, I'll butcher it. It's a 1366 width. I just don't remember what that calculates out to, but it is three by two. Um, and I mean, relatively bright here. Hopefully you can kind of catch it on camera. We're not doing anything white here to, to blow out the shot, but you know, again, under our studio lighting, if it looks pretty decent, I, I would say it's Got to be at least 250 nits. It may push 300. It's kind of hard to tell in here sometimes. But we're getting this nice kind of, it's not, I wouldn't call it the obsidian velvet uh, that we get on the uh, CX5 and CM5. Um, it's not quite as like soft touch feeling, but it's, you know, it's like a soft touch plastic, uh, but it looks good. It looks really nice. You know, you flip from that silver uh, to the black as we open it up. You get a slight, slight little lift from the hinge there, but a massive trackpad for a small, 10 inch class device. I mean, that's a really nice size trackpad. Let's see. Quiet and the click feels good. It's not floating around or bouncing or anything like that. Um, definitely not glass, but a nice smooth plastic. If it is glass, it's fooling me. Um, it's really smooth for plastic. So what feels like it's gonna be a good trackpad. And I can tell from just looking at it, uh, the, the keyboard here is definitely uh, small. So this is gonna be slightly cramped. I do wish they would have just taken the keys all the way to the edges maybe and gotten closer to a full size keyboard. This looks very much like if you've ever messed with the Flip 100, the C100 from Asus, this looks like it might be the same keyboard uh, frame underneath here. Uh, but there's a lot of travel, like a lot of travel for a very small device. You're just gonna have to get used to typing. Now this doesn't feel as cramped as the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, for instance, but uh, it's definitely gonna take a little bit of getting used to for sure. Let me actually put my hands on here and just feel. Uh, the spacing's pretty good. Like the Duet, when I put my hands on it, I immediately was like, oh man, this is gonna take some getting used to. This doesn't feel that bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. And the, the click and the keys are great. Uh, Asus has been really making some great keyboards of late. Um, but yeah, um, decent screen. I, I, like I said, the three by two is pretty awesome. I like seeing that. And then of course this is a convertible. I don't know why the screen went off on me. And relatively thin and light. And be again, because of three by two nature, uh, if you're holding it in tablet mode, you know, something like this, it doesn't feel as awkward as a big 16 by nine tall panel. Now again, is this gonna be your best thing to buy if you're winning a tablet? Uh, definitely not. I would not say that this would be your best option. Uh, the same processor, probably a better screen um, and a better tablet experience is gonna be found in the detachable CM3. But if you're looking more for a laptop that can flip around into a tablet mode from time to time, um, I would say this might be a decent option for you. Here's the thing to consider. At this point in 2021, uh, this is the MediaTek 8183. So this is the same thing that launched on the Duet a year and a half ago. So this is getting a little old from a processor standpoint. If you're just going to be you know, browsing the web, doing a few social media things, checking your bank account, that kind of stuff, no big deal. But if you're gonna be opening lots of tabs, I know I've got a couple of Duets around the house and every once in a while I have to grab one and use it for something. It's gonna struggle through a lot of anything that's more than a basic task. One other thing I want to check real quick before we get out of this one is, I wanna see what the speakers sound like on this thing, because again, this is, this to me feels like a media consumption type of device. So this is something you'd buy and you'd be sitting next to the couch and you're gonna pick it up and watch a video on it from time to time or something like that. So if you're gonna use it in that way, uh, it makes a whole lot of sense for it to have really good speakers. And yet in smaller devices, you kind of expect crummy speakers, honestly. So I'm gonna click one of our last videos and just see. Sell online and grow your business with Wix e-commerce. Right. Create a beautiful storefront. It's no secret, I'm a trackpad aficionado when it comes to Chromebooks. Spoken word, now it's not loud, but it's actually got some full and, and sound to it. I will mention the fact that I flop around when you mention it, but I did see our intro this, track here. On this up the same, so. Again, not loud. I'm easily talking over this, but it's like really nice and full. So, I mean, ultimately, again, this thing comes down to being something that you're going to plop on the couch, knock out a couple emails, check a couple things, flip it into convertible mode, maybe take a note or two. Let's let's see how the pen works with it. I'm I'm not expecting anything not to work here, but um, I know a lot of y'all will probably ask. So let's open up Keep. Yeah, um, almost no lag, kind of like I'd expect. 
um, and this is key, obviously, as more and more Android apps really start leveraging their, their new APIs built into Chrome, or Chromebooks and Chrome OS that uh, allow for better uh, pen support in those Android apps, we're going to see those get better as well. But Keep is kind of the easy one to go to and tell if there's any lag. And you can tell this is this is a pretty good experience here. So if you're into kind of writing and all that stuff, again, this pen's not going to go anywhere. There's no magnets. There's nowhere for it to go, unfortunately. There are tablets coming with that kind of stuff uh, on board. This is just not one of them. And again, the detachable CM3 has a stowable stylus. So it would pull out of the side and do kind of the same tricks here. So. Uh, this is a, a strange device, honestly, uh, to me, because this detachable CM3, I think, is going to be something a lot of people will go for. And a convertible starts having to deal with all the Jasper Lake Chromebooks that are out there, because this is in the $350 range, uh, depending on sales and all that kind of stuff. And so, I don't know. Uh, it's a weird one, and definitely going to spend some time with it, see how it works. Um, I know for sure it's not going to deal with my daily workflow, so I'm not even going to really try with that. But I'll have it at home. Uh, use it around the house and let the kids maybe use it a little bit and see kind of how they feel using a device uh, that has the same processor that they've had but has that nice three by two screen gives you a little bit more screen real estate than something like the duet and uh, we'll get back with you and and kind of have a full review as a I don't know as a more recreational device versus something that I'm putting through my entire workload but guys that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification bell right next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.